This is Mary Dubler, and this is part of a series about plants, trees, and flowers of the Bible. Our subject today is the cedar of Lebanon, a tall tree with roots that go deep into the soil. Cedars of Lebanon are true cedars of the genus Cedrus. They grow at an elevation of 3,300 to 9,800 feet and are found in Lebanon, Syria, south-central Turkey, and Cyprus. Reaching a height of 130 feet and a trunk diameter of over 8 feet, these evergreen trees have wide-spreading horizontal branches. Male and female cones begin developing when the tree is about 40 years old. Over the centuries, cedar forests were severely depleted, and cedar reserves have been created in Lebanon to preserve pockets of forest. Some trees in these areas are more than 2,000 years old. Cedar was a major export from Lebanon and was an item of luxury and wealth. The tree is so much a part of Lebanon's history that its image is on the Lebanese national flag. Cedars of Lebanon have fragrant wood that is a warm red color and is free of knots. The wood is not attacked by insect pests and is resistant to decay, so it is long-lasting. This beautiful wood was used in the construction of King David's palace, described in 2 Samuel chapters 5 and 7, as well as Solomon's palace of the forest of Lebanon. David and Solomon acquired cedar from Hiram king of Tyre, a city in Lebanon where high-quality cedar grew. 1 Kings chapter 6 describes how the temple was almost completely paneled with cedar, and Ezra 3 verse 7 mentions that this wood was also used in the construction of the second temple. Psalm 104 verse 16 tells us that God planted the cedars of Lebanon and that he cares for them, and that in Psalm 92 the godly are compared to these great trees. But the godly will flourish like palm trees and grow strong like cedars of Lebanon, for they are transplanted to the Lord's own house. They flourish in the courts of our God. It is wonderful to think of God as the master gardener of his creation. Under his care, all who love him will grow strong like the cedars of Lebanon. This is Mary Dubler, and I hope you've enjoyed learning about the magnificent cedars of Lebanon. Please watch others of our videos in this series regarding plants, trees, and flowers of the Bible.